Ventilators are key to promoting, uh, ventilators are key to stopping coronavirus deaths. And the key questions become, does the world have enough? General consensus is there is a critical shortage and no easy way to increase production quickly enough. Dr. Samson Lampetang is a professor of anesthesiology at the University of Florida in Gainesville, and he joins us here on the morning show. So, Dr. Lampetang, uh, you and your team of researchers went to the hardware store. We're talking to Home Depot, Lowe's, and you built a minimal transport ventilator. Does it show a lot of promise? Yes, it does show a lot of promise. Uh, we have one half been running for three, actually five days now, or six days in the lab. We've lost count, yeah. What really motivated you? Is it that doctors and nurses are faced with having to make a critical decision, who gets one, who doesn't, and that they're, they're, they're really playing God? That is correct, yes. But what we also motivated us to go to Home Depot, our department has a tradition of working with ventilator manufacturers. A lot of the technology used in ventilators came from the Department of Anesthesiology at the University of Florida. So we had insider knowledge that the parts you use to make ventilators were running out. This was two, three weeks ago before everybody knew, we knew. And when somebody asked me, how are we going to solve this problem? Then I, I immediately said, well, we can't use what is traditionally used. So we have to find alternative parts. And, and the most obvious choice was Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware. I just, I just want to give people an idea. What kind of parts are we talking about here? Uh, one of the main parts is actually a lawn sprinkler uh, valve. It's not the, the sprinkler head that pops up from the ground and irrigates. It's the valve that when you set your timer to water your lawn at 6 o'clock, it, it opens a valve and then water rushes to the head and the head pops up. We are not using the head, we're using the valve. What, what brought this about? I mean, was there this kind of aha moment that led you to this point? Uh, yeah, it's, it's uh, because, like they say, necessity is the mother of invention. So we knew we needed a valve, and we knew we needed to go to Home Depot because we knew transportation would be, would be uh, probably limited and, and the, the traditional supplies will be exhausted. So, so, yes, that was the, 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 the trigger to do that. So let's take you from the checkout line in the hardware store to where we are today, because you and your team are working right now to determine how safe, accurate, and durable these machines are. What, if, what, what, what conclusion have you come to? Uh, we have come to the conclusion that those machines... Uh, we are, uh, are, are reliable as long as we know when to swap components. So some components, we know when they will need to be replaced. So we are uh, describing that in the instructions. Uh, so it's, it's working very well beyond our expectations right now. And you're in the process of adding some safety features. That's correct. We are adding, we're adding additional sensor, which is pressure and flow. The base unit doesn't have that, but, but what we're testing right now is what's called the pneumatics. Uh, we have a great team from actually all over the world. We have a core team at the University of Florida and the School of Engineering and the College of Medicine that has been really fantastic. So it's, it's uh, and now we, we're actually establishing a global network where countries like Bangladesh uh, and Brazil are looking at our design and replicating it. And we're talking very affordable here, 125 to $250. And the fact is, even if they're not needed for this pandemic, they can be used in underdeveloped countries. That is correct. I, exactly, that's the, that's the plan. Hopefully they will never be used, but if they are used, uh, they will be ready. There is a, a gentleman in New York, he has a company, he's building some right now, and, and uh, Hopefully, he will not need to supply it to, to New York authorities, but he, he, out of his kind heart, he's building them. Dr. Lampetang, thank you so much for spending some time with us. Who'd have thought that solving the problem with the need for ventilators may have come from as simply as Home Depot and Lowe's and from, well, a researcher at the University of Florida. Appreciate your time, and please keep us posted 
on the progress. We appreciate you, and we know that this may go a long way in saving so many lives, if not with this pandemic, certainly down the road. God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much. You all stay well. You as well.